Hello everyone, Drake Robinson here. Um, alright, so I have to make this video. I have to. It's gonna be a little bit of. I'm in a mood right now, and it's just because the, the double standard is just blatant and obvious, and I'll get into it right now. Um, so for those of you who don't know, um, there's uh, there's a couple of channels out there um, of YouTube channels of good guys, good guy dads, and um, just good guys in general going out there doing these little sting operations to catch these um perverted evil blue pillar child predators out there and uh there are a couple of them i watch a lot all pretty much as many as i can because the, these guys are doing a wonderful service these guys are doing great for the community communities that they live in and my hat's off to them because you know Obviously, obviously law enforcement isn't doing their job if these guys are still out there, if these guys are, you know, just, you know, so the people, I think it would it'd be good for the people of, you know, their, the city that these, uh, catchers are doing this in, the people know the people, even if they don't, you know, get arrested, they, they at least know their face, they know to stay away from them with their children. Um, one of those, um, channels out there is a channel called, uh, DAP, Dads Against Predators. Uh, basically these two, um, fathers, good guy fathers, um, I believe one name is Josh, the other one name is Jay. Um, and pretty much they go out there, they, uh, do these, um, sting operations, um, just them. And a couple of other, uh, good guys involved. And they, uh... And pretty much they catch the uh, the the uh, predator um, themselves, kind of like a uh, Chris Hansen to catch a predator kind of situation. And you know these guys' videos, I've seen a lot of them. They are just like wonderful. I wish these guys had their own TV show, but we all know the Blue Pillars won't allow that because you know the Blue Pillars are in bed with these predators. But you know we all know that. Um, and so, like, these guys, uh, and, and they just embarrass them. They, 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 they do the whole, and, you know, and, and what I love so much is the very end, they, uh, announce to the store or where, wherever they're, uh, doing the sting operation at, that this individual here, here to meet with a 13-year-old or a 10-year-old or whatever age, the, the, under, obviously, the underage child, uh, they're coming to meet. Which is just, ugh, like, these guys, like, I'd be, I, I would have just eaten a full lunch, for example, and I'd watch these videos, and, like, these guys, the thing they say to these children, what they, what they believe to be children online, they're like, I just want to, like, there have been times where I've gagged and wanted to almost throw my lunch up, because these guys are just, like, the, the, the bottom of the barrel type of individuals you'll ever meet, like, ever. Like, I... I, like, these guys are, like, really, you know, I know people say they have this reputation for being hard on them, but good. I'm glad they, I'm glad they're hard on these people. They, these people don't deserve any, to be talked to respectfully or anything like that. Especially if, you, you know, you hear the things that they've said to the, who they believe to be children. But yeah, DAP, uh, DAP, um... Yeah, that, so the, pretty much that was their whole thing, and you know they had they were on Patreon, they were on YouTube, we're on YouTube. And that's where that's where you know my anger sets in because recently the channel got deleted. For you know YouTube is one of the most blue pill, uh, uh, privilege you know websites out there besides you know besides and there there are a lot of pretty much all social media for the, for the most part. I mean there's a few. Ex uh, collusions, um, but for the most part, pr every, every, uh, social media platform is in line with the privileged blue pillars, and, uh, yeah, and so, it's interesting how their channel, DAP, Dads Against Predators, can get deleted numerous times, but canceled, essentially, for, for doing what exactly, what are they doing wrong? They're exposing child predators in the cities that, you know, people are in. And sometimes they, 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 and sometimes some of these predator catchers catch people in, like, neighborhoods where they live. And where they live, there's a lot of children, like, in their block, essentially. So, like, wouldn't, wouldn't it be a good thing that the parents know that there's a, 
there's a known person who isn't even on the registry in their, you know, town, in their neighbor, in their, in, literally in their neighborhood on the same block as them, but they don't want their, you know, they, they, they don't want their, uh, uh, uh YouTube, I mean, um, YouTube, law enforcement even, because I heard law enforcement even came out against these guys for, for doing their job better than them. I believe it's a jealousy thing uh, that law enforcement has against, you know, these predator catchers. But, like, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't it be a good thing to know that this person's literally around, you know, their kids or their kids are playing, you know, in the street doing, you know, kid things? Wouldn't it be a good thing that the parents know that? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently, uh, no, uh, it's not a good idea at all, apparently, to the blue pillars who keep, you know, uh, whining about them. And personally, I believe they're, you know, sympathizers to these people, but, you know, that's a whole other thing I, I'll get into. But, uh, yeah, it's just like, how is it that DAP get, get, gets constantly, gets demonetized, gets the, the channel deleted? Uh, same thing with uh, another uh, YouTube channel, uh, Colorado Peg Patrol. I watch them as well. There's another guy, a couple of other guys. That, that skeet handsome guy, I don't know, I don't know about him, he looks kind of, he just has a, he just looks kind of, you know, weird to me, but, you know, that's nothing against him, if he, he, he's doing a good service as well, but I don't know, it's just something about his look, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming at him, you know, like, about his looks, I'm just saying, he just has that, I, anyway, yeah, but he's doing a good service as well, I'm not, you know, discounting him, but, you know, just, it's just kind of weird the things he does. Like he literally dress up in like costumes to meet these people. He he makes his videos entertaining, and I don't believe, you know, what these people are here to do with who they believe to be a child. I don't believe you should make that entertaining. I guess you know for YouTube sake, because YouTube and uh, of course doesn't like the raw stuff. And, you know, they're more entertainment friendly or whatever. And so, I guess that's what he's doing. That's what he's, like, making his model of his, you know, channel out to be. Which I don't believe it should be that. I believe it should be taken seriously because this is a serious, you know, obviously a serious topic when you're discussing, you know, obviously anything, anything bad happening to your children. But that's just, you know, my view there. But he's doing a... Uh, yeah, but, you know, he, he's exposing these people, too. So, you know, my hat's off to him. But, yeah, it's just weird how these people constantly have to keep going through this BS with social media. And But people like Shane Dawson, for example, can have numerous scandals. Even one including doing a, 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 a sex act with his own cat. Yes, that is a real thing. But his channel doesn't get... Nothing happens to him. Nothing happens to him at all. He, I looked it up before, you know, I did this video. His, his channel's still up. How is it all these other Blue Pillar YouTubers can do pranks? Quote, these uh, quote-unquote influencers, which I made a rant video about them. You can check it down there. Um, uh, and they, you know... Nothing bad happens to them where they're like abusive boyfriend or abusive, you know, prank or like kids and stuff like that. I hit my kid prank or whatever like that. They're perfectly fine. But when people are exposing the scum of the earth and putting their faces out there so people in the community who may watch them, who may be like, oh my God, I see that guy. That guy lives in my neighborhood. Let me, let me make sure to tell my kid to never go around that guy at all. You know, they're doing a service, an actual service to the world. Unlike these YouTube, unlike these other ridiculous blue pillar YouTubers who contribute nothing to the world. They get, you know, obviously it's, you know, it's a system thing. These guys, these guys aren't blue pillars. The people who catch these predators they 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 aren't they aren't you know I guess in line enough with the with the predator sympathizers on the upper echelon of the I guess social media totem pole 
and societal totem poles, so they of course get the they of course get the worst treatment out there. And so, like, of course, it makes sense from that aspect. It's still infuriating though, because you know, you you you, you get something out of watching their videos, not just from an entertainment standpoint, because it is entertaining watching these these pervs and predators get you know blasted their face out there you know they lose their jobs etc but you get information on you know how you know just twisted these people really are and how twisted the mind the blue pillar mindset is and uh and just how devious it is and how a little prey on the weak you know and it doesn't matter what I, i've seen people like on there get exposed and they have like disabilities they're in, like they're handicapped and stuff like that they have conditions and it's like wow you're that twisted that you're willing to you know walk into a potential sting and you, you can't even like defend yourself like at all like you know so what if the if it was the actual dad and not like dap or any of a predator catcher what if it was the actual dad who was kind of you know rightfully so obviously after what you just said to their children online wants to handle you know you in a man-to-man -man kind of way you can't you know like so like that's how twisted and sadistic the uh, that mentality is and you know it's just it's just weird but yeah th this whole thing you know with that getting their ch channel deleted their patreon and stuff like that you know how, you know how, and they're dads so you know they, they're providers so they gotta feed their families and stuff like that off of this stuff and same thing with the uh, the Colorado Peg Patrol and a lot of these other predator catcher, you know, it's, just, it's like they're doing their job, they're doing the police's job better than them, and they, of course, have to get the brunt end of all the BS. Like, I get it, like, you know, the blue pillars are in line with these people, social media is like the full brink of the blue pillar, you know, um, you know, just keeps a trap on that, all that, and I get it, but, like, like I said, it's still infuriating, it's still very infuriating, seeing stuff like this happen to good, decent people, like Josh and Jay, and all these other predator catchers, you know, they deserve better, and I lend my support out to them, not that, you know, not, if they, not that they'll probably ever see this video, but, you know, if they do, I just want you guys to know you do great work, I support you guys 100%, all the other predator catchers out there i support you guys 100 percent. us good guys do you guys are doing you guys are making the world turn like all of us good guys do and um yep peace and love to you guys i'm out